पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नितिनाथने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशिकारी श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत नाथ शिवासरी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे शिला प्रभु पद कर फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ जर्नी टू अमेरिका ताऊपरे गोटे बहुत स्पेशल फंक्शन अरे कृष्णा ये टा जालदूत यात्रा रो कोटे ग्लिम्स थिला जो जालदूत यात्रा से समरे जो फंक्शन टा ही थिला फिफ्टी इयर्स ऑफ सिलो प्रोपर्स अराइवल इन अमेरिका ताऊ परे तो ताऊ परे हमें प्रोपर्स लीलामृत जो बुक रो हम पढ़ थिले इंट्रोडक्शन हम बहुत सुंदर वाले पढ़ ले बुझिले 
एवं आमे एपे प्रोपात करो बुक रो फर्स्ट चैप्टर स्टार्ट करेगा काली तामान जाने चंचे गोर पुण्य में तो किंतु हेल्प भी आमे प्रोपात का ऑब्लिकेशन तो करेगा इधर क्या करना चाहिए तो ना आप लोगों को जाने वापस आएं आपको सिला प्रोपात ही आपको सही इनफॉरमेशन दे चंदी तो प्रोपात का विषय जान ले चाहिए तो ना आप लोग इ Calcutta, August 13, 1965. The Jaladut is a regular cargo carrier of the Skindia Steam Navigation Company. But there is a passenger cabin board during the voyage from Calcutta to New York in August and September of 1965. The cabin was occupied by Sri Abhay Charnar with the Bhaktivedan Swami, whose age was listed as 69 and was taken on board bearing a complimentary ticket with food. तो प्रोपर ये बोले तंगो ये बॉयस 69 वो प्रोपर कैलकटा रे सिप्पु बोर्ड कर ले। The Jaladu under the command of Captain Arun Pandya, whose wife was also on board, left at 9 a.m. on Friday 19 Friday 13th August. In his diary, Muktivedan Swami noted, the cabin is quite comfortable, thanks to Lord Shri Krishna for enlightening Sumati Morachi. For all these arrangements, I am quite comfortable. But on the 14th, he reported sea sickness, dizziness, vomiting because it's Bay of Bengal, uh, heavy rains, more sickness. Actually, uh, we are accustomed to stay in land. So when we go to the water and stay a long time in water, then we feel uncomfortable. So Prabhupada was feeling that. On 19th, when the ship arrived at Colombo, Ceylon, or now Sri Lanka, Bhaktivedan Swami was able to get relief from his seasickness. The captain took him ashore and he traveled around Colombo by car. Then the ship went on towards Cochin. So first they went to Colombo and then they turned to the Arabian Sea at Cochin on the west coast of India. Janmashtami, the appearance of Lord Krishna, fell on the 20th of August that year. Bhaktivedan Swami took the opportunity to speak to the crew about the philosophy of Lord Krishna and he distributed prasadam he had cooked himself. So Prabhupada uh, Janmashtami the prasad distribution. And August 21 was his 70th birthday. So Prabhupada, 70 years ago, Prabhupada age which was observed without ceremony at sea. That same day, the ship arrived at Cochin and uh, Bhaktivedan Swami's trunks of Srimad Bhagavatam volumes, which had been shipped from Bombay, were loaded on board. Bombay reprint he ki, se bohi uda sabo, asla Cochin de load hai. By the 23rd, the ship had put out the Red Sea. 23rd Red Sea, where Bhaktivedan Swami encountered a great difficulty. He noted in his diary. Rain, sea sickness, dizziness, headache, no appetite, vomiting. In two days, he suffered two heart attacks. He tolerated the difficulty, meditating on the purpose of his mission. But after two days of such violent attacks, he thought that if another were to come, he would certainly not survive. The Prophet got two heart attacks in two days. So many painful. On the night of the second day, he had a dream. Lord Krishna, in his many forms, was rowing a boat. Other day, I may say, Abhacharya under the video, the Kitle, Yoti Prabhupada, Evilda, Heart Attack, Hila Pore, Krishna, Sita, Ku, Santona, the Jan, the I'll take care of the boat. Our Krishna, Takar Subi, Bina, Abhutar Manasito, boat, Ku, Robot Kile. And he told Bhaktivedan Swami that he should not fear. But should come along. 
Bhaktivedanta Swami felt assured to Lord Krishna's protection and the violent attacks did not recur. Bhaktivedan Swami felt assured of Lord Krishna's protection and violent attacks did not recur. So he will provide the protection. He could see that. The Jayadatu entered the Suez Canal from Red Sea on September 1st. It stopped in the port side on the 2nd. Bhaktivedan Swami visited the city with the captain and said that he liked it. The Suez Canal Jaiki. Say, by the sixth, he had recovered a little and his from his illness and was eating regularly again for the first time, having cooked his own khichdi and puris. He reported in his diary that his strength renewed little by little. Slowly, slowly, he is regaining his strength. Prabhupada writes in his diary. September 10th. August 13th, Prabhupada was still September 10th. Today the ship is flying very smoothly. I feel today better. But I am feeling separation from Sri Vrindavan and my Lord Sri Govinda Gopinath Radha Damodar. The only solace is Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya which in which I am tasting the nectar in of Lord Chaitanya's Leela pastimes. I left Bharat Bhumi just to execute the order of Sri Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati in persons of Lord Chaitanya's order. I have no qualification, but I have taken up the risk just to carry out the order of His Divine Grace. I depend fully on their mercy so far away from Vrindavan. Actually, Guttathara Prabhupada got a conversation with Prabhupada Jana Pachatla Jai. Prabhupada Ross, Mulla is the sweetest thing in the world. Uh, when I sweet or in, in uh, the whole creation, the school is the sweetest thing, isn't it? What do you think? Mm. Totally, yes, or a school is the sweetest, but mm. even more sweetest is Chaitanya Charta. Mm. And Prabhupada was realizing that. So that's why when Silla Prabhupada went to the West. He started giving lectures on Chaitanya Chaitam the first. You've seen Prabhupada diary or Prabhupada audio archives. First Chaitanya Chaitam the lectures Prabhupada. Because he had strong faith that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy can change this face of the world. The ocean voyage of 1965 was a calm one for the Jaladut. Captain Pandya said that never in his entire career had he seen such a calm Atlantic crossing? Bhaktivedan Swami replied that the calmness was Lord Krishna's mercy. Mrs. Pandya asked Bhaktivedan Swami to come back with them so that they might have another crossing. And Bhaktivedan Swami wrote in his diary, if the Atlantic would have shown its usual face, perhaps I would have died. But Lord Krishna had taken charge of the city. So actually, Prabhupada is feeling that and Prabhupada could understand that Lord Krishna has taken the charge of this. Because after the 30th, when uh, Prabhupada goes in the Adhija and the history of Hindi, Pandya goes in. After 35 days journey from Calcutta, the Jaladut reached Boston's Commonwealth Fire at 5.30 a.m. on September 17, 1965. The ship was to stop briefly in Boston before proceeding to New York City. Bhaktivedan Swami had to pass through U.S. immigration and customs in Boston. His visa allowed him a two-month stay and an official stamped it to indicate the expected date of departure. Captain Pandya invited Bhaktivedan Swami to walk to Boston and where the captain intended to do some shopping. They walked across a footbridge into a busy commercial area with old churches, 
and uh, warehouses, official links, bars, dotry, shops, and clubs and restaurants. Bhaktivedanta Swami briefly observed the city, but the most significant thing about his short stay in Boston, aside from the fact that he had new, now set foot in America, was that at Common Health Fire, he wrote a Bengali poem entitled Martine Bhagwat, Teaching Krishna Consciousness in America. Some of the song verses are wrote, uh, he wrote on board the ship that day are as well. So some verses are given here in English. I think we can stop here today. And then we'll uh, continue with the verses next time. Hare Krishna, Jai Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you over the time. I promise to join Kale. I can't let the Guru Punya find some of the ready gateway. Jai Tanama Prabhu Ki Jai.